Well, you saw part of his response in that story by Patrick Amimo. And now, here is the extended version of the interview with Nairobi Governor Evans Kidero with Yvonne Okwara about the time that he was at the helm of the Mumia's Sugar Company, a time that is now under scrutiny. You were obviously, before uh, being county governor, you were at Mumia's Sugar Company. We'd like your response today to that uh, KPMG audit in which you are adversely mentioned as having taken part in some improprieties at Mumia's Sugar Company. What is your response to all the allegations that have been leveled against you thus far? In the first place, you need to read the, the, um, the report itself. And what is more important is to read the disclaimer because, uh, one, it is uh, 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 a draft report to which we were never given an opportunity to respond to because normally during audits, uh, Mumias would have written to me to tell me that uh, uh, there's an audit being done and uh, KPMG would be contacting me. But even in the writing of their report, uh, if you don't mind, do you want me to read for you the, the disclaimer? Why don't I let you read this? No, 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 please do. Yeah. This is what KPMG says. In the writing of this report, KMG has relied upon and assumed without independent verification, they confirm there's no independent verification, the accuracy and completeness of any information provided to and or gathered by KMP, KPMG whether from public sources or otherwise. And accordingly, KPMG express no opinion and make no representation concerning the accuracy and completeness of any such information contained in this report. Some of the allegations are uh, things that happened while you were there. And here is one, um, that you approved three after-sale discounts for three distributors amounting to 154 million. And you did that against, at the expense of the firm. Uh, you also did it against company guidelines. There's also the awarding of, um, of a tender for pest control fumigation services without the approval of the management tender committee. Uh, you're also accused of awarding at least five questionable tenders at the company, among them the fertilizer supply tender to Shah Kanji and Sons, who sent a quotation prior to the commencement of the tendering process. Absolutely not, absolutely not. The year I joined, Umias had made a loss of 250 million. Over the years that I was there, we made cumulative profits of 15 billion shillings. Sales grew from 6 billion to 15 billion. Net asset value increased through various investments, uh, that is ex uh, expansion of crushing capacity from uh, 300 ton 310 tons of cane per hour to 340 tons of cane per hour. The construction of uh, um, uh, Bagaz fired electricity generation plant producing 38 megawatts and the building of an ethanol plant to produce 25 million liters of uh, ethanol. The net assets grew from 7 billion to 27 billion. I made profits, we made profits every year. We paid farmers all the time. Actually, we were the only sugar company that was never taking money from Kenya Sugar, Kenya Sugar Board. So, Two years after I've left, I found it in a loss-making situation and left it while profitable. I cannot stand answerable to what happened after I left.